Hey friends, so in this lesson, we'll integrate GitHub authentication into our existing application. If this is your first stop into the user authentication tutorial, please make sure to configure and initialize Firebase into your project and handle platform integration. You can find the steps to do these processes in the link in the description box below or card above. So let's proceed. So let's proceed back to our existing project, create a new file called onboarding github.dat let's define our state class and name it github authentication then in our return we'll return a container let's go to onboarding.dat and pass our new state class const github authentication let's import it then back to our class, let's uh, define our container by passing the child as sign in button and giving it a button type dot github and passing the unpressed. Great. Next, we're going to define the width. Then define the height using the container and the padding at the top. Great. Now let's proceed to uh, github.com for dev developers let's create a new oauth app give it an application name and home page url can be any home page url that you have for the authorization callback url you need to go back to firebase let's enable github and we'll need to get that url paste it and register our application and with that that's why we're going to get the client id which we go back to firebase and paste and generate a client secret copy it and paste it in our firebase then we save. So we've configured on both sides. Let's go back to application. So we need to do a specific setting on the iOS platform. So we're just opening the iOS folder using the Xcode and in the info, we're going to add a custom URL scheme. Uh, so we're just going to proceed to add to the encoded app ID. To get that, you go back to Firebase project settings on iOS. There is the encoded app ID. Just copy it and paste it there and add it. Um, already the for Google authentication was added if you've been following through the tutorial. Now back to our application, let's create a sign in with GitHub function. We'll proceed to create a variable of type GitHub auth provider. And that's the one that's going to help us in the signing in using GitHub. And with the GitHub auth, that's what we're going to pass in our Firebase auth. That instance. That sign in with credential. Sign in with provider, sorry. So we're going to use the GitHub auth provider. Back to our on press. We're just handling the try and catch. And in our try, we're going to pick the user credential that we will we'll receive. Await sign in with GitHub. And then we're going to navigate to our welcome screen with the display name, the email address, and the photo or the profile uh, for the, this specific account that we are signing in with. So let's pass that. So user credential, user credential dot user dot display name. Photo URL will be user credential dot user dot photo URL. Then we'll handle null safety in case there's none. Same with email, user credential dot user dot email. And with that, we just want to uh, use a mixing class. And in the mixing class, we'll call the call custom status alert so that we can get our error message in case it fails. So let's restart our application. When you click, we are directed to the GitHub um, URL where we're able to sign in with our GitHub. Enter our password. 
and sign in be authorized and we'll be direct there's an error um let's do it again we didn't handle an error where in case there's a user already signed in um we didn't do an extensive uh, catch uh specifying specific errors so in this case let's run our application again we just deleted assign an existing credentials so when we proceed it will direct us to the welcome with our photo url our display name and our email the reason why we haven't entered again it's because we had already signed in we have reached the end of this part of the tutorial please don't forget to read through the resources that will be available in the description box below and also subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one